Hello and welcome to the final case. This is the Thames Murders. Now this case is unique in a couple of ways. Firstly, there are multiple victims. And secondly, there are already some names automatically added to our notebook. And these are the residences of the victims themselves. Now we're going to start this case off by visiting the Bagatelle Club. Nathan Revell and Mr. Jacquard are both members at the club. Nathan and I are partners and frequently played against Jacquard and his partner, Moran. Sebastian Moran? Yes. But how well did the two of you meet their challenge? <laughs> it's hard to believe, but at first we won. <laughs> They're two of the best players at the club. But then our luck changed. We couldn't win no matter how good the cards were. Did they cheat? Cheat? Of course not. Club members are gentlemen. Did you have a wager on the game, Mr. Adair? A small one. A pound or two, nothing important. And Ravel? I don't know. When did you last see Ravel? The night before he died. We were playing against Jacquard and Moran till midnight. <laughs> we didn't win a game all night. Nathan seemed upset. He and Moran seemed to have a bit of a disagreement. What about the night Ravel was murdered? I had a drink here with Moran. He said he was waiting for Nathan. When he didn't show, he got upset. He waited till a little before eight and then left. He told me if Nathan stopped by to tell him to meet him at the Tankerville. When was the last time you saw Jacquard? Last night about 8.30. He'd been here since 4.30. He received a postal telegram. After reading it, he jumped from his chair saying he had unexpected business. Have you seen Moran lately? Not for the last few days. I understand he's on the continent. How very convenient. Now, Mr. Adair, I'm going to assume it is Ronald and not Hilda, is in the directory. And now we're going to visit Roland Jacquard's place. I'm usually quite fastidious, but I left everything as I found it this morning. Now that poor, poor man. Did you see Mr. Jacquard last night? No, lovey. I went home early after leaving dinner out for him and the guest, as he asked. Interesting. What is it, Holmes? A Mauser T11 and a Lafourchure pistol. Lafourchure has been recently fired. Three shots. And the Mauser? Not in the last day or so. Mr. Jacquard was quite the gun collector, I can assure you. Well, Watson, here we have letters of credit totaling thousands of pounds. My word. And I have merely found his wallet with 140 pounds and a recent playbill from the Elephant and Castle Theatre. Do you know who Mr. Jacquard was entertaining last night? No, I don't, Ducky. But I did see something strange this morning. The Persian mug is missing from that corner of the room. I don't know why anyone would want to steal a rug. Do you know anyone else who might be able to shed light on this? You might try nosy Mrs. Ivory next door. She's always in everybody's business. Now, I definitely heard the word Mauser, but didn't the, the maker of the other gun escapes me? If someone could help me out with the name, I'd be very grateful. I could hear Lau for sure, but I could not even begin to spell that. Anyway, let's go and speak to Sir Jasper Meek. Meek's assistant said Sir Jasper headed home before anyone dropped off any more dead bodies. Did he leave any information? He said he gave it to your street ruffians. So we've made this trip unnecessarily. Pity. Well, Watson, pray let us continue. Jolly good idea. I believe that means we should send the irregulars to Sir Jasper Meek instead. But I will leave that decision up to yourselves. So now let's speak to Inspector Lestrade. I've been thinking it over, Holmes, and I've decided that I don't need outside help. 
The case is progressing adequately and you are dismissed. Sorry, Inspector, but one should never begin to eat from a plate if one has no intention of finishing the meal. I have no choice but to continue. You are as persistent as a gnat. I'll give you my report, but please take it and leave. Well, that's odd. I, uh, I, I saw it here this morning. You've misplaced the report, Inspector? Sorry. Wow, okay. And we're going to finish this up with, well, finish up the detective visits with a visit to Lord Astley Denham. My stepson was not welcome in this house. He was a no good monkey bank. A no good. Astley, dear. Quiet, darling. I'll handle this. He spent all of his time in card rooms and bedrooms. I threw him out of the house six years ago and haven't seen him since. The only question I have is why someone hasn't killed him before this. Oh, Astley! I'm afraid you'll have to leave. You're upsetting my wife. But, Astley, I'm not. Quiet, upset. darling. I'll handle this. I tried to make a man of him, but couldn't. Perhaps if he'd gone grouse hunting with me in Scotland, I could have. You must leave now. Good day. Good day. Wow, nice man. Now, we will send the irregulars out, and they're going to pay a visit to our friend Porky Shinwell. Leo Shepard is Curtis Twiggs. Oh, okay. I'm sure this will make more sense soon. But it's valuable information nonetheless. So that is the end of the first update. I will see you again for the next one in two or three days time. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.